Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Part 18. In the last episode, we rescued this little beauty in here with the Bell of Awesomeness. And uh, yeah, this guy was kind of grateful for that. Anyway, that was not the point. Let's see. So, come here, Roach. At this moment, we need to learn a bit more about this, this boatling, which is apparently... Um, Thing that's oh, that haunts them with Take like a uh, Jesus Christ. What is um, yeah, Baron or whatever he's called, and uh, apparently they've had some miscarriage or something. Something we're about to find out what that's all about. And when I think about it. We should most likely have taken some what? Whoa! Okay, let's just let's just see how close this is. It's like um right. It's like right in here. Okay, don't worry about it then. We will run up to it. Hoping I'm going the right direction here. Yes. <laughs> I should Lightning really... Strike. Oh, damn. Alright guys, I'll be back with you whenever I'm up there. Alright guys, we are back. And this is basically what we came to see. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? Believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. Ah, oh, shit. I'll try. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! <laughs> Come your tits, man. Looks like rain. Looks like rain, yeah, it should... Hey! What are you doing? Yeah, are you? I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Screw you, Baron. They ran out, didn't they? Lying trick. Shit, fire spreading. This stupid burn. Ah, oh, hey. There you go. Screw you, burn. Stupid, abusive idiot. Yeah, how does it feel to be abused yourself? Oh man. Oh, we need to talk. Idiot. Hey, come on. The fire, man. Hey. What about the horses and his... Hey! Oh, for fuck's sake. Sit down. You beat them. <sighs> I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. Oh. She always knew how to spark my ire. So what? Yeah, how did Your she do wife, that? How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. Mostly drunk. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, <laughs> you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. Oh, yeah? Why not? Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara? Yeah. After that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish. 
but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, ah. hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? Yeah, indeed. I'd hardly need you if I knew. True enough. Alright. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Yeah, Say indeed. I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? I would take you for an honest man with problems that clearly need to be solved. Oh my god. Yeah, no matter, I know how Doesn't to find them. Doesn't much matter now. I know how to find them. How? I know about the baby. Anna and I. It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. Wow. <sighs> So how was it really? All right, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. Please. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. How do you see them? I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Yeah, that's what you get, man. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. <sighs> How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Everything is just twitching like... Crazy, do you see it? <laughs> so you were left with nothing but a bottle. Ah, uh, Christ, that's what you get, man. Now, let's see. Tomorrow witnessed this. Tomorrow present for all this. She see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Wait, what did you do then? Yeah, let's see that. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. Huh. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. That's what you I can. blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. That's what you get. Man. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I oh. knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. Oh. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless. On bloody sheets. Dead. And it was my doing. Uh, what did you do with the child? Maybe you're doing, maybe not. But that amulet she wore could be important. Or maybe the fact that she lost it. Look at it, it's twitching. What did you do with the child? Oh well. What was I to do? Took it out and buried it. <gasps> Just Where? like that. Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. 
I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. Keep it together, man. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look downright pathetic. You're a heartless bastard. Yeah, for you I am. Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking... what? <laughs> yeah, we, you don't need the details, you just don't details know Details you don't anyway. need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. Hmm. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Ah, yeah. Show me where it's at. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Yeah, indeed. Let's do it. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Indeed. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Yeah, please. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. <laughs> oh, damn this guy. Drunken bastard. That's all I can say. Don't drink, man. Or at least not heavily. It leads to this. Oh, that was kind of a generalization, wasn't it? <laughs> a bit further. Follow me. Well, you know what I mean. Come on. Oh, okay. Whoa! You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Ah, oh, goddamn. Here's the spot. Okay. Seems kind of remote. Chose a lovely spot. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. Yeah, the real graves good. dug up and empty. Uh oh. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Uh oh. Hello. Look. Ah, oh, hell no. The hell? Yeah, let's try to turn it into a little bit quick. But if it goes garrison, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets blowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Yeah. Let's Take do this. Take Let's do this home. the proper way. The merciful gods. Holy. Oh. Back to the fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Yep. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait. Loot. <laughs> and I think we need to... Oh, yeah, it was already on it. Great. Come now. We must bury it. 
We'll speak afterwards. Yeah, indeed. Finally you have your head straight. Ah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Spectres. Oh, sent a train. Whoa. What were you trying to do, eh? Ow, oh. More? Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Ah. Ah, that. There we go. This is tightening. It's writhing something fierce. Can't hold it. Calm it somehow. I'm trying. There we go, I think. Um. Actually, it's also the thing I have. There you go. Quiet now. Ah, there you go. A little what do you want to do with it? Me? <laughs> this is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leprechaun. From there, yep. it'll watch over your house and help you find your family. All right. Let's do this. I bet there's gonna be another attack up here. It's pretty convenient, isn't it? Here at the or at the the threshold. Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> Nailed it. Well. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can uh, parry this shit. Oh. Oh. What? Okay, fuck it. Waste of time. Ah. There we go. Down you go. Up. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming at it. Ah, oh, this is stupid, man. Why isn't there like some aim or something? Come on, I'm. I'm. There we go. Yeah, rotten flesh. Right. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's. It's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Come on, something, man. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of Earth and Sky. Powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I oh. name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. And embrace thee as my daughter. Oh. Good. Now bury the body. So cute in a Witcher kind of way. Oh. Ah, there we go. 
Ah, that turned out a lot better than I thought. Well, let's not to speak too quickly. What now? We wait. In one day's time, Dea should turn into a Lubberkin. Yep. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. Alright. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Yeah, please don't do that. Sit and wait. <laughs> For like in 24 hours straight. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what happens. Midnight. The following. By blood's night. power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. All right. Um. Yeah. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Oh. Wow. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. Blowing hangover. Oh. <laughs> All right, so wonder if everyone else can see this, or I'm just like running with these weird ass ghosts, and only I can see it. Man, this lightning! No, oh, excuse me. So, where are we going, bro? Even though it's a girl, so it's like, where are we going, girl? Oh yeah, of course, drowners. Great. Let's see if we can just run past it. No. Or not. Hello! Hey! Dia! Wait up! Are they up here? Hello? Anna? Oh. Why are you trolling me? Oh, there he is. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking Horseshoe. around, though. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Hmm. Alright. Oh. They change in here. Alright, let's find the entrance in there. Oh. Or not. Okay. Oh! A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Alright. Wants to show me something more. Oh. Oh, those weird insects or whatever that is. Alright, let's let's go, bruh. Girl. I, I, I keep calling you a bra, I'm sorry, dear. It's kind of fun how in every game, these kind of things are never quick enough for your normal running, but not slow enough for like anything else. Like it's just come on. Oh wait. Should examine that horse carcass. Yeah, we should. What do we have here? A dead horse. Okay, let's see. Uh, the saddle. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. <laughs> well, I guess so. Bones have been here a while. 
All right. What about the rips? Giant claws. Oh. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks? All right, look at those in the background. Hey, oh! <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Where are you at? Come back. Hey, oh! <laughs> All right. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? <laughs> oh, so good. It's like, hey, yo, I'm famous. Head torn clear <laughs> off. Takes incredible strength. Oh, yeah. Damn. Let's summarize. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Yeah, hopefully. Trail oh, okay, on. let's... Let's just, let's just get these out of the way. I like how it's just like they... If, if one of them explodes, they're all screwed for. Ah, oh, Oh! Okay, okay, screw this. Let's follow Dia here. Get on with the point. Oh. Oh. Wolves. Alright, Dia. Where are we going, girl? Yeah, this time I got it correctly. I feel like I'm being followed. Hmm. Wonder by what? <laughs> Alright, so are they down here? Hello? Anna and uh, company? You down here? Oh. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, what joy. Hello. <laughs> He's Who's like. That? Who the Everyone, fuck? Go home now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. All right. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Uh. Quiet, boy. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, who'd you see? Scribe. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Hmm. All right. So, where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Yeah, indeed. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. <laughs> because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because huh. he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright, where's the baron's wife then? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising the racket to make your ears bleed. But Mrs. Hey. Anna screamed. Bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What? That mark? 
Ah, oh, tell me about the marks, yeah. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron on the palms inside. Burned like a cattle brand. Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Damn. What happened next, yeah? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The oh. miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Well, where is she then? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I'd a debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learnt it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Yeah, indeed. Very wise. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Alright, well, we know where she is. While back I met a woman in Crookback Bog. Had fiery marks on her skin like the ones you described. Must be her. Mrs. Anna. Gods. She to Crookback Bog. It's where I saw her last. Gods of all the heavens protect us. Tis clear now who's whisper to her in the night. It is. The crones took her. She what? must have made a deal with them. A pact. It's why they marked her and took her like she was their own. Yeah, thanks for the help, man. Really helped. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> what is this boy doing? <laughs> Whoa. There's a lot of fishing rods in here. I like how they were saying they were poor. But yet they still had pearls. Um. Oh, you can even loot this pretty thing. Oh. Okay, let's let's just get on with it. Sorry about that. No. Oh. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see here then. Oh, that was the wrong one. This one. All right. Oh, yeah. We did not really get to do that shit. All right. Anyway, talk to the Baron about his family. We'll uh, we'll get to do that in the next episode because I've kind of run out of time with this one. If you like this, oh well, not episode. Anyway, if you like this part, leave a like, share it with your family and friends, and subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.